Okay, uh, hey, how's it going? This is uh, Dustin. Just gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to use the uh, 360 as your mouse, which I think is a pretty cool damn thing to do. Okay, first you'll need a. Uh, uh, let's see. Let me close this off. Because I have a shortcut. Oops, oh, wrong one. I did have a shortcut. I must have reprogrammed to do something else. Um, yes, make it my current one again. Okay, go to uh, what you'll need is a 360 controller and the uh, wireless adapter for PC. Go to Google, get X pattern. Mm -hmm. Let me try to fit this big thing in there, okay. And then go to uh, the first one. Go to the top one, unless you want to pay 14 bucks for the other one, but this one's a free one, that's all you need to do what I'm going to do and what I do. And it'll take you to a uh, informational site, read about it, whatever, just download it. I don't need it. It would take another 45 minutes for me to download because I really kind of slow internet. Let's move that down there. Okay, uh, it'll have it as a compressed file. I unzipped it to somewhere. I'm not going to go looking for it. But um, I'll just unzip it to your desktop so you know where it's at for now. Um, and then you run it, and then this is what you would get. Okay, and then you can see each little button has its own little thing to do. Okay, but let me start up a new one. Okay, yeah, you can have uh, different channels, I guess you would call them, if you like. But number one is my main one, so I don't have any other program. But, um, you use this, you click here, here, and it'll bring this up, and then you get an image. Uh, they'll have images in the uh, XPatter folder. Uh, sticks, enable sticks, mm, uh, detect, it'll detect the sticks, it'll tell you push up, you push up, you push down, you push down, you do what it says. Stick number two, stick number two is here, um, and then D-pad, D-pad is here. Buttons, buttons, uh, I got them programmed right now. They're going to do all some crazy stuff, but buttons are here. Oops. Okay. So you get all the buttons. Make sure you get every single one of them. Because these two here, uh, the joystick clicks, everything. Um, triggers, enable triggers here, enable, and it'll have two little things here. You just push, you know, the left and right when it says to finish, click close. And then for the fun part, you get a program, each one of these, for the mouse. Use normal mouse unless you want to do some other stuff. But I use this joystick because I can have it in one hand and just as a mouse. Uh, for my click, I have this one. It's the A. And then you just click on the button you want to be your click. And you click there for your click. 
I have a uh, right click and then the scroll click for Firefox. It'll if you click on a link with your scroll, it'll put the link in a new tab. Uh, volume up, volume down, next track, backtrack, windows, start menu, over here, if you can see it in the side there. It'll program every single key but the center button, you don't need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have my triggers as the internet buttons, uh, back, back, forward, forward. No. Okay, so I'm going to bring up Windows Media Player uh, to uh, do shortcuts for programs. You right click on one. This is Media Player 10. I like it because it saves your playlist from when you left off. Okay, put Control M. I mean, or Control M. It'll just do Control M. Click OK. And then for your uh, command, you click Control and Alt and M. Okay. And then when I push the uh, button I have for Control M, it'll bring it up. And then I push the uh, start, min start button, and it starts blinking. And then I can take it down here. I can turn it up. This is the Windows volume, not Media Player volume. Turn it up. Next track. Next track, next track, next track. Uh, the distance is, if you have the 360, you know, you can take the controller into another room and turn your system on just with the controller in the other room upstairs. I could be across my house all the way upstairs and open media player and play the music and it'll be blasting down here, which is great. Uh, I don't know, I have one key that's not programmed. Because there's so many things you can program that, you know, I, I ran out of things to program it with. So I have an extra button. Oh, I know what this was. It was for uh, multiple tabs I had. Uh, I'd have this tab, I have YouTube, and this one, and then when I click it, it would take me to different tabs. That's what it was for. Okay, quit. So, and then uh, for each key, like my click, I click, I can add vibration function. See the little check mark? It's checked in. Advanced. And you can um, change the intensity. Uh, really high, really low, and the right and the left one. Or the right and the left. So you could have it one side really high and one side really low. If you want. Turbo mode. Um, people know what turbo mode, you know, you click it once it it's equivalent to five clicks, but uh, I just want just one click. Toggle doesn't look like it's for anything. Yeah. Alignments, but there's dozens and dozens of things you can do. Uh, like the joysticks, you can um, mouse settings. Here's the speed to make it faster. I like how it is, how fast it is. You can also use this as a DVD program remote. Uh, open up Power DVD I have, and you can use this as a controls, as like a remote. Um, hit play. I don't have a movie in there, but I won't. So. Uh, that does not compute. Uh, moving there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, have fun programming all your keys with X Pattern. And thanks for watching.